Good evening. Today we're going to do a blog on the Cambox Mecca version 3. I apologise uh, for the sound quality. This is getting filmed on an iPad because my camera's dead. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, so I bought the Cambox Mecca V3. They've sent the next time this, this, this is my early Christmas present. So I'm really looking forward to this. But as any of you know that follow the channel already, we um, we race, um, myself and my, my wife. My wife doesn't race, my wife coordinates the race events. Um, so keep an eye out for Lindsay, she's on the telly as well. So fun. <laughs> this is the Cam Box Mega V3. So any of you that don't know what this is, this is a head cam, basically. Um, it's designed to, to be flexible, so it can go behind the visor of your race helmet, or your bike helmet, or it can go motorbike helmet, equestrian. Equestrian is a big one that they do at the minute. Um, or actually fit to a baseball cap. So before, without further ado, we'll, we'll get on with it. Nicely boxed. Um, I didn't go for the red one, despite it being red. You can get them uh, in the French colours as well, for uh, the, the, the red, white and blue, for the um, Celebrate the World Cup, which is actually really awesome because they're, they're French. <laughs> but here we are. Um, I'll show you how it comes out of the package. It's a big sausage moustache looking thing but uh, it's the 3d printed so it's a small company and um, from what I, what I assume for talking to them but i don't know if you can see and um, let me show you here you can see when with the, the light i've got the lamp to the side there but it's 3d printed uh, but don't let that put you off by any means it's it's just it's one of the manufacturing techniques now it's it's as good as any so i have a microphone built in i apologize for the for this I have a microphone built in here up here we have the uh, power button and the um, Wi-Fi connectivity button because you can actually connect to it to your phone and behind there they have an SD card slot which you get with by the way you get an SD card with the um it's part of the package you, you buy and a micro micro USB slot there um, so yeah Onto the main camera. I have a 1080p camera mounted here. It, uh, I make no apologies for not being a subject matter expert. It's not my camera. It is now, but it's not. I didn't make it. 30 frames per second at 1080p. So, so as you can see here, there's hinges either side allowing the camera to flex. And this is also. Uh, hinged, yeah. allowing the whole camera to move up and down. I apologise for looking at the, the screen to, to the right hand side here. Yeah. Moving on to what's in the, else in the box. We have velcro strip. We opted for an extra couple of velcro strips. But these are this is what you would mount. They, they come with a cap just to prove a point to you really. Um, so this could be mounted like so. Or here's what I prepared earlier. Helmet. So these would mount there. So part of it is the velcro on the top, which I didn't show you. It's a hook and loop velcro, and the opposite side here, the hook side of the hook and loop or velcro. Obviously, these made up with each other. I say obviously, but these made up with each other. And this can be mounted to a cap, which they have provided us with. Excuse me. Like so. And that would then bend into, into position, mount it to your cap. And if you go on mountain bike riding, walking, whatever your activity is, it's good. I, however, as you may know, don't walk. <laughs> so this will get them mounted on the inside, inside the visor, like so, meaning that the camera will then be mounted, excuse me, like so. Now you may think that's going to be really bad and for your vision, but it's just not. I mean, to prove the size of the camera, um, I don't know how many trivia's I've had other cameras, 
So this is the casing from an original GoPro. That's the size. The actual button on the GoPro is the same size as the camera on this. So that, that is how small they are. I'm not sure I do. Do a floppy ruler. And the ruler, the ruler, the, <laughs> the measurements, you can see the next to nothing. I mean, we'll go from there. The tip there. Fifteen mil, yeah. Fifteen, seventeen mil for the whole thing, sticking down, right? But it doesn't. It's 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 in between your eyes, firstly, right? And secondly, it's um, it's it is quite high. Now, the race helmets, the most sport helmets, the motorbike helmet, the, this aperture is quite big, and then on this one is really quite small. So you have to excuse me. I'm gonna put the helmet on. Oh, I miss this thing. So, I have to speak up, but in here, mount up top. Now I can see that camera there. I can see the camera, but just. And with my visor down, it, it's, it's, it's hardly noticeable. It's, I imagine it's going to be very similar to um, to your nose, and I'm sorry for all of you watching this now, or any of you watching this, but um, you can't, act, you can actually see your nose at any point in time, just your brain chooses to ignore it because it sees it all the time. So that, that I imagine that's going to be the same sort of thing. So there you are, there's a lesson to be learned. Hashtag camera works like your nose. <laughs> Speaking of hashtags. Here is a, a blank box. <laughs> there is a hashtag on there. There you go. <laughs> hashtag be yourself. Um, that's obviously cam box. Uh, Mecca's cam uh, hashtag. So yeah. By the way, this is, this is the first time I'm opening this, so uh, bear with me. We have a uh, uh, USB cable and so micro USB cable. I'm sure techie people around me will be saying, no, no, that's not a micro, that's a mini USB. I don't know. I don't know. It's a USB cable on it. It charges my camera, it charges my phone. Well, this one doesn't have an iPhone. Sorry. Other phones are available. I'm waiting for the iPhone here now. Me, you should have got an Android. I'm not a sheep. Uh, and yeah, I have a bag. It's brilliant. A lens cloth to clean it with. Ah, so you know how they came with the uh, SD cable, SD card, SD converter, and a US. Oh, and a USB SD converter. Yeah. So that's that's actually really quite nice. I and mean, these are actual extra things that you really don't have to, you don't expect to get. And the instructions manuals. Don't be um, upset by the instruction manual. It, it, it's obviously just been printed. Um, so you can see the the print marks. It's it's not as shiny and as glamorous as what you'd expect buying a GoPro or something like that. But they're a multi, probably billion pound company now. These are not. But this, this I've seen the footage. I've seen this being used. And it, it gives a, a different angle onto your, your normal racing. Um, so you don't have to have this big camera stuck on the side because that's at the end of the day we're all trying to get our cameras smaller and smaller and smaller and um, so you don't have to have that it also has come so these are the extra um velcro strips and four finding guide and a guide to the sentence so how to use it and so the, your options are uh, 1080p with 30 frames per second or 720 at 60 frames per second so and, and it's actually the um the dimensions are here the height is 16 and a half mil 
So that's at 17 though, so that's not too bad. And 47 grams. So for all you that are worried about your, your helmet weighing too much, 47 grams is going to be at the front upsetting your, your helmet. Which I suppose is also good if it falls off and hits you in the nose. <laughs> it's only 47 grams. But on top of that, the extras you got, the cap, which we've seen before. I don't wear caps. I have no eyebrows. So <laughs> I look unusual in a cap. I'll move past that. That is not the thumbnail whoever's editing this video. Lindsay. Um, comes with a sunglasses case for, I imagine, storing the camera in, which just fits. <laughs> it just fits. Um, so <laughs> there you are. It just fits like a big old breakfast in there. <laughs> and one thing that I definitely 100% did not expect from them is a power bank. Which I think is really, really nice of them. Um, I don't know how much that says their, their confidence in the battery. Uh, so this is, uh, if you don't have the Wi-Fi switched on, it's one and a half hours they're expecting. And if you do have it on, it's one hour and 10 minutes. So it's 20 minutes you lose through Wi-Fi, which is not that bad. And my race is only 20 minutes, so I don't mind. But, <laughs> but those of you who races are longer, uh, unfortunately, you're going to have to be selective with your footage, unless you want to strap a power bank to the side of your head as well. So yeah, the, 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 the battery life is no way a rival for GoPro. But, you know what I mean, does it need to say more? You get in either outside your helmet, if you go kart centre, if you press your antenna, and I'm 90% sure that the MSA doesn't allow you to have your camera outside your helmet. Because um, it needs to be tethered twice, physically tethered, and then tied in case one of the tethers breaks of some sort. So that's why you'll see the lads with the mounted in the car, bolted to the car, and then have the little tether on as well, just in case that snaps a little cable tie. Half the time, I've got a cable tie around mine, I'm not going to lie, but then half my race car tells me about cable ties. <laughs> Before any of you insult me on that, cable ties are great. right? If I, I, I took all the, the bolts out of my bumper and put cable ties in. right? So now if somebody hits my bumper hard, right? then cable ties break, and that bumper flies away. I don't have to worry about it then, right? That's, that's, that is a, a one that I saw from the catering lads. So, yeah, come back to the camera. Um, I suppose the only thing I can do is fit it. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a fiddly video, so we'll fast forward in this bit. Okay, see you soon. Just stop you there. If anybody has any idea or tips, tricks on how to pull the plastic or the paper back of plastic stuff, sticky stuff, just please comment. Please tell me a life hack of some sort on how to stick these things on. I struggle so badly. Right, so I've stuck the Velcro in now. That was fairly... There, Velcro is stuck in now. And look how beautiful and clear my skin is when it overexposes the camera. And this is, this is literally just the case of stick it in now. Or stick it into somewhere that you don't want it. So there you go. That's the camera stuck in position. Just that. And it's quite. Have a look. There's a little bit of play. But the camera can point down, which is good, depending on your field of view. Visor still closes with no issue. Whatsoever. Let's try it on. So I missed. I didn't get it central. Well, you get the point. It's on. 
It's been a long time since I've wore this. I can't wait to start wearing this this year. And there you go. That is a Cambox Mega. I'll stop this video now. I'll get some charge into the camera and we'll have a look at what it's like running. Okay, see you soon.